Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peaches from Love Your Healthy Life. And it has been about six weeks since I've done another video. But that doesn't mean I haven't been out of my garden. I've been doing a lot of traveling. But I've still been coming out of here when I can. Um, working on my garden. It's been a little difficult here in Zone 8, in Georgia Zone 8, um, at the end of the summer, going into the fall, because oh, we've been experiencing a little drought. So coming out here and having the water, uh, going between my well and my county water, different things like that, it's been quite difficult. I was late planting out my fall crops, but I finally did get my pumpkins planted and a few of my winter squash. I had started my pumpkins indoors, um, well in the beginning of July I think and I just didn't transplant outside there's nothing like good uh, sunlight uh, to get those uh, plants uh, going so we probably won't get pumpkins until like right around November sometime but I do see the pumpkins growing I see my squash I have some I think it's called Kusha squash uh, growing and I have some striped squash growing um, different types of squash I want to show you some of the squash I have growing well I have some big projects I'm gonna be working on um, well they're big to me um, I'm gonna be putting in a fence uh, back over here on this side of our property I'm gonna be putting in a fence uh, right behind the mulch uh, to try to keep some of the bunnies off of my lettuce that I've planted I'm gonna show you so what I'm going to be doing is putting in a fence all along the side here. It's got about, about a 100 foot fence. And so that's one of the projects I'm going to be working on. So another project that I'm working on is putting up several trellises. I've already got some posts in right here. And this is to grow tomatoes on. I'm coming up with another way to possibly grow my tomatoes. And I didn't want to use the garden fence or even... The cattle panel that I see, um, there's a warning on those about, you know, I just didn't want to grow my food on them because of the warning that I saw. It kind of spooked me a little bit. So I just decided to go with some wood. So right here is the all natural materials I'm going to be using to build my um, tomato trellises and maybe use some of them for beans. And it's an all natural material. Yes, it's not going to last as long because, you know, it is not, the wood is not treated, but that's okay. I'll think of something else at that time. So that's project number two. And right here, back over here, in this box is a project I'll be putting together. This is a hoop house. So yeah, have my work cut out for me here. And over here is my other white trellis that I need to put up over here in my seating area uh, that's going to be displaying or the backdrop for my rose bush that goes in that planter right there just like uh, this one that I've already uh, put together and my rose bush looks so pretty this time in the morning and what I've been doing is cutting off uh, the spent roses so that I can have a continual bloom all the way until the first frost. And this is actually October and I'm still getting so many blooms right now. And just a pretty, pretty flower. And I believe this is the Darcy uh, Bustle Rose. Or the yeah, this is the Darcy Bustle rose right here, and this rose bush right here is the Alexandra of Kent, and it has so many uh, new rose uh, buds coming on the plant as well. So I'll have continual roses, and I just love coming out here in the mornings and walking through my arbor. Um, I really love this. Um, white arbor here and I like coming out here and sitting and enjoying my morning tea or coffee and it's just really peaceful right here in the mornings or even in the evenings and in the beginning of my arbor I have two dwarf apple trees and I'm getting new leaves on the apple tree so perhaps next year I'll get some new apples then I have my lemon trees right here 
This is the Meyer Lemon. I believe that one's a lime. And I have my purslane. It looks so lovely. On this is my mango tree that's just pushing out lovely for me. Perhaps we'll get mangoes next year. And right here is a cherry tree. And this right here, I believe, is a there's a lemon tree that I grew by seed, and it's continually pushing out as well. My mandevella flowers are doing really good. And I planted beans on both sides of this particular trellis to grow up where my loofah was growing. And I already harvested my loofah. But look right there. I keep getting some type of critter, probably a squirrel, digging my bean plants up. So I'm going to cover them up um, with some mesh covering and see if I can plant them again so that I can get beans growing up the trellis. Then I have some mums right here in my sitting area. They're so pretty, and flowers over here. And right here in my cutting garden, um, I pulled up all my zinnias, and I have the, let's see, this is sedum. Um, I'll put the name of this sedum um, up above. But it's pretty, nice autumn color. And my fig tree is growing up, this trellis, and then I have some mums that are coming up throughout. I want to show you something. This purslane is, look, spilled over right there. So we have some going there on the ground. And see this, this purslane right here? It spilled over on the ground here and made this nice, lovely flower display. I really love the purslane and it's growing in my baskets, my fruit baskets. And I think this is a vinca flower that spilled over from a planter that was over here. Here's a pomegranate uh, tree over here. And this is another rose bush that has new roses coming on it. And roses that have been spent. And I love to sprinkle my roses, the spent roses on the ground. I just think it looks pretty. So right over here is my kale tree that looked really horrible at the beginning of the uh, season. It was being eaten by worms, but I didn't want to just totally dig it up and put it in compost. So what I did is I did dig it up and I moved it over here and babied it a little bit, put some diatomaceous earth on it. And now look at the leaves, they're looking so wonderful. And so now we can start harvesting some kale from this large kale tree. And I wasn't expecting it to get this big, but it really took off. And my zone is zone eight. Um, I get two growing seasons off of my brassicas, which makes it really, really nice. Here I have more peppers. I believe this pepper right here is a um, Tabasco pepper uh, right here. And I can make Tabasco sauce with these. I am going to be making some hot sauce with some of my hot peppers. Not just the powder sauce, but also hot sauce. And this is another Scotch Red Bonnet uh, plant over here. But what I wanted to show you is I'm getting a second harvest or growth on my watermelon. I have one here. And this is October. And I've already harvested about 12 watermelon this season have a baby one there that's a nice large one right there get closer it's a nice large one and that's a nice one right there there's one over there and there's another Charleston gray right there and the leaves are even starting to green up again I thought they were all looking dead but and I have more watermelon here and I have one right there. And this is my volunteer cabbage plant over here in the watermelon patch. <laughs> and this was a pepper plant that I saved at the last minute. I think it's, um, I was thinking it was a Phyllis pepper, but now I'm thinking maybe a Chinese five color. So I'm not sure because the peppers are starting to get large, just like the Chinese five color, if you can see that. And my lettuce. 
is doing pretty good. And I have a squash plant here. This is a, I think it's called a striped squash plant. And right here is my kusha squash plant or pumpkin plant. So hopefully we'll get some before it gets too cold. And then right over here is my volunteer pepper plants and my pumpkin plants. Well guys, here is my mosh pile and this is a over five foot mountain that I have here full of beautiful wood chips. Okay guys, so, so today I'm gonna harvest a lot of peppers and trim up my pepper plants um, my lettuce plants are coming in really nicely but my pepper plants are needing a good harvest right here are my pepperoncini peppers and my chili peppers and one of my favorite peppers I'm gonna be harvesting my cayenne peppers and more pepperoncini peppers over here more chili peppers and these are habanero peppers and over here are the scotch red bonnet peppers so many peppers to harvest and i wanted to show you what the sunshine chili peppers look when they ripen up they look like a beautiful sunshine orange color okay so i picked all the pepper seeds off of this one little plant over here so now I'm gonna pick my chili peppers. So these are the pepper, these are the pepperoncini plant peppers off one little plant. And I have another pepperoncini plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some chili peppers off of here. Well guys, I'm gonna call it a day for harvesting my peppers. So many peppers. These are my hot peppers and more hot peppers have a few bell peppers and some sweet tiny bell peppers but I never did think I would get tired harvesting peppers but here I am and I'm only halfway through harvesting my peppers I might pull a few more bell peppers over there but for the most part um, I have more peppers to harvest there there and over there and a few more right here to harvest so the sweet peppers and the hot peppers are the star of the garden this year. So many peppers. So this is my pepper harvest for today. I wanted to show you my compost bin that my husband got at a really good deal from a garage sale and it was brand new, never been used before. And this is how I've been saving my kitchen scraps and this right here is just about ready to use rich compost i'm gonna put my glove in here and show you uh, the texture of it so yeah this is turning into some rich soil and let's see if i can show you that look at that rich soil yay rich con uh, compost that we'll be able to use i just can't believe how beautiful it's turning out it's so nice and rich and I just love it so yeah this is my compost bin and it's the name of this is called a lifetime compost and I forgot the size of this but anyways this is my compost bin well, I hope you enjoyed what's growing on in my garden. Well, guys, thanks for coming along with me on this garden walk and talk and also my little tour that I gave you. And hopefully I'll be able to do some videos on uh, some of the projects that I'm doing um, for the hoop house and then the trellis I have to put together and then the rose bushes that I'm going to be planting up. And I'll show you how I plant my roses for those of you who are interested in planting roses and never planted them before. Um, my pick is David Austin roses. I mean... I am in love with those roses. They have not failed me yet. They are totally, they're so beautiful and they're so lovely. And I've gotten so many wonderful roses um, 
from the David Austin Roses. Well, let me know what you're doing in your garden, if you're doing any fall gardening or not. I'm gonna try to get around to all the channels that I can. Um, there's only 24 hours in a day and I need to sleep at least 10. I tell my husband, I need 10 hours of sleep, okay? I just do. I'm not sure, I think it's because I'm getting older. Um, when you're getting closer to the big 6-0, I'll be big 6-0 soon. <laughs> um, you know, girls never tell their age, but I tell you what, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I kind of tend to post pictures on there at least once or twice a week, uh, maybe sometimes three of what's going, growing on or going on in my life. So if you come to Lovers for Healthy Life, um, well, I think it's www.instagram.com forward slash Lovers for Healthy Life. Well, alrighty, thank you for coming along with me on my little garden walk, talk, and tour. Happy gardening and God bless.